All right, what's up, y'all? So I was like, let me get on here and do a quick little Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine read and Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine or just like Divine Feminine, what's, what's the vibe? Divine Masculine, what's the vibe? Um, but two separate perspectives, you know what I mean? So I had these for Divine Masculine. You know, y'all know last time these were the vibes for Masculine. So I follow suit. I got the relationship deck out here for the commonality of the two and the princess deck for the divine feminine energy all right so crazy thing is there's preface cards all out here for divine masculine but divine masculine is still like in gentleman mode like go first go first so we are going to start with divine feminine even though <laughs> it's divine masculine that's sitting out here on the board like a big spread so First things first, I kept I keep running back to these roses, okay? Tomorrow I might be able to take those miniature roses off the altar, at least take a picture so y'all can see or whatever. But um so roses is in the energy, yeah. So I have roses all the time. Um it's something that I provide at the apothecary. So um the process of having them, drying them, um keeping their, uh, you know, aromatic quality. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So anyway, um, y'all saw the roses, you know, from the last video or whatever. Plus y'all know we talked about roses when we were talking about beauty and the beast or whatever. Yeah. So, um, I wanted to tell you all a little bit about roses, right? Um, beyond their beauty as a flower and yada yada right because the process of drying them out they become something completely different and you adore them for a completely different reason so the fact that they're so velvety in in the in the fluidness of it causes you to to learn to develop um the milkiness you know what i mean the thickness just that in the building thickness around here somebody okay get it don't even start <laughs> don't even start divine feminine but it's hard not to right because roses are also like love they they're of the flower kingdom they are the highest of frequency right if you want to lift someone it's you know the idea that they have become the love uh package the bouquet to give to your loved one they are the highest they vibrate at the highest frequency, right? They are a symbol of peace. They carry the intention of peace and of beauty. That's why it is found in a lot of different um, beauty products, organic uh, products. It is a source of growth, okay, somebody? It's a source of growth, somebody, meaning you could take those petals and if you knew what to do with them, you'd understand what is seen dead spirit oh oh calm down divine feminine is on her eh, i told y'all on the pivot mm. oh, oh oh wait a minute y'all oh because see i'm getting gassed up over here because i'm giving y'all the reading but i can see over here on the left is the board that is the divine masculine's message which i've not broken down yet at all i just laid it out how i was instructed because I was told, no, 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 Divine Feminine, go first, go first. So I got Divine Masculine sitting over here. So it's almost like as I'm giving the word, I look to my left real quick and it's like a reminder that Divine Masculine is over here. It's like just... Watch. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like, okay, I see why you wanted to sit on the board over there. Like, because y'all remember weeks ago... That was the energy that was making the space conducive. Now that I'd have made the space conducive. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> I oh see, spirit, what are you doing to me? Beauty products, it is a skin softener, but if we're speaking spiritually, okay. A softener. I'm thinking softener of the heart. It is vibrating at a high frequency. It is a symbol of love, but self-love because it is the greatest and highest of frequencies. Uh, it is the greatest, right? Uh, 
this uh, roses somebody. Put roses in the comments. Send some roses to yourself. Send some roses to somebody else. And when they are seemingly dead, don't sleep on that word, somebody. Those roses, intentionally, you can, you can dry them out. But if you forget and you start to see them and they look like they're seemingly dead, no life there, take them petal by petal, yeah, and lay them out flat or... Maybe a Ziploc bag. I don't know. I just sit mine out. And they'll dry. And as they dry... I'm gonna be... Go ahead. We ain't had interference in a while, have we, y'all? Uh? All right. Roses. Divine feminine. This is 734. Mmm. Trapped. Spirit, tell me what's that about. Okay. Oh, this is the relationship. This is in between. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, okay, and forbidden, ooh, which is nine. Okay, okay, let's do, let's see what feminine is saying. All right, that's, that's, that's between the communion of it all. This is divine feminine's perspective, though. We got trapped and we got forbidden, something being blocked off, like I can't get to it. Something's blocked off. Forbid. Nine, meaning it is a matter of some form of perspective. Is it forbidden or is it seemingly forbidden? Same way, why is this trapped here or is this seemingly trapped, right? Divine feminist, say words, say words. Sister girl, what is going? The fuck on. Sundress, do it for you. 41, which is five. Mm. This is do it for you. This is what's coming out for Divine Feminine. We got forbidden and trapped. Like a bird, trapped. Divine Feminine saying on top of that, five, which is shifting. Do it for you, meaning sundress. She's looking to the sun. Do it for you. She's looking... Tara, do it for you. This is she's reaching here. Do you see her? Her feet lifting up like she's looking up, like in the cold, freezing cold. Sundress on. <laughs> I need you. Oh, I cannot. Why are you so saucy like that? Stop it, will you? Top of the deck, six dragons. Slay them all. Oh, look, tattered and torn. Slaying them all. See, this is six, and then there was the nine. This is the perspective of this thing. Slaying them all. Even beat down and broken. Remember the other day, I don't know how many readings ago it was, maybe two or three readings ago. I'll say three or four readings, maybe. Um, Spirit said even, or did I just post that on Facebook? I don't know, but it was something along the lines of uh, my ancestors were saying, uh, even with your hands tied, I did it in a reading, even with your hands tied behind your back, they wouldn't be a challenge for you. They, they, they wouldn't be, you can cause me no harm. You, you, you can have no, there will be no detriment towards me from you. <laughs> right dragons slay them all this was perspective spirit is reiterating a thing here really with this right here okay divine feminine do it for you slay them all oh stop it will you <laughs> 
stop it, will you, spirit? What is going on? Oh, here we go with this 11. Here we go with this 11. Wasn't that just a reading right here tonight? Feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Meaning, damn it, you've done a thing. <laughs> damn it, you've done a thing. Hmm? Yeah, because see the roses, that high frequency energy. I told y'all the energy of love, if roses and love are synonymous, right? Think about that rose. And it's, it's symbolism in the Beauty and the Beast series as Spirit broke that down to us, right? Think, consider that, right? Really think about that. Run that back so you can kind of, now some of you might be able to piece it together now that Spirit done brought it full circle. You can go back and, and listen to some of that and, and get it now. You know what I mean? Sometimes we hear a word and for that moment it sounds like, what? Like a little bit, but not so much. But once we you know more into what's going on you develop a little bit more you know maneuver you know one way or the other you know um that you can do that i'm gonna end this one for divine feminine um and then see what divine masculine is already out here laid out i literally just gotta stop and then play again because it's out here it just wanted to watch i've made the space conducive now, let me show you how, you know, you're, there is no more your trap, right? The space has been made conducive. What was once forbidden is now, you, you've recognized it was yours. You didn't have to ask for this shit. You ready to go get your shit. You ain't got a barter for what's yours. The, it's already won. That's yours, right? You divinely protected. You've already been told that. Slay them all. It's the perspective, right? In my sundress, I can just stand here, warrior of love. I need you to do something, Rob. Make move. <laughs> yes, yes. I trust you. I, I, I do it for you. I, I, I can stand here just like I'm gonna be good. Cause one, I'm not gonna be here that long, right? I, I trust you, right? I got the sundress on because I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to make it all the way known <laughs> that this you right here. <laughs> Spirit has your mouth. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Will you? This is what spirit is saying inside my head. I, you got to stop playing with me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, God. Please now. Say slow down. This is the feast card. This is the feast card. Slow down and celebrate yourself. No worries here. Under spirit guys and say so though. Ain't that a beautiful thing? My feminist said one more word. Okay, sis. <laughs> what is it? Tower. Unplug and relax for a spell. Yeah, mind, body, and spirit align. Celebrate. Relax. Center. That, that, how, that's what trust is about. I, I can't. I'm good. Girl, you gonna stand out there like that? Girl, don't you know I got the sundress on? Ra gonna recognize this frequency around here. This the roses. This the high frequency. Ra gonna recognize this. I wore the sundress just for you. Because <laughs> I knew Ra was gonna show up. I'm not gonna be cold. Not for long. Because Ra gonna see. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> Oh my. Let me get out of Divine Feminine because you're doing a little much. You showing. <laughs> this is certainly forbidden. Behind closed doors. Hush, hush, hush now. Divine Feminine. A girl. Okay, now. <laughs> Peace out, Divine Feminine. I'm getting ready to close your Pandora box because you're doing the most, Divine Feminine. Okay? You're doing the most. This is why we don't do these. <laughs> Let's see, my truth meter. <laughs> my truth meter be. Okay, I ain't got it to do. That's why I don't do these. I don't do these. And who we got? Who we gonna go out on? I don't do these. The truth meter do. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to be right back because I'm getting ready to divine masculine. Oh.
I know this is going to be saucy. I'm, let me calm down, okay? Ashe, sister girl. And get into it, okay? Get into it. Remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love. All things great and grand are yours, sis. You ain't got a blame thing to worry about, you understand? You be true to yourself. You ain't got to be true for the nobody else. Get to the truth of you, and everything true and abundant will align to you, for you, because of you. That's what empowers you, yeah? Get into it, okay? I shit to the ancestors. I love you.